Hi, this is Mr Evans. This is the first of a series of videos about AQA GCSE business. In this video I'm just going to provide a very brief overview of the course and give you some hints and tips for studying uh, AQA GCSE business. So the first thing that I would suggest is that you make sure that you have got a copy of this document here which is the AQA specification that lays out in chapter 3 here exactly what it is that you need to know so it's got all of the different units here and uh, it tells you here what you need to know and it tells you what you should be able to do all of the questions in the GCSE exams will be taken from these uh, skills here that, you, that are listed that you should be able to do so this document is really really important because it tells you what you need to know so it's a really good idea to go on to the AQA website so I've got it here and be very very careful because at the moment and I'm recording this in September 2018 um, at the moment they've got two qualifications on the uh, website you obviously need to do the new one which is 8132 and then when you go on this you can download your own copy of the specification which is a really important document for you it allows you to take responsibility of your learning make sure you know everything that you need to know so um, in the specification is a list of the subject content you need to know okay each unit um, starts 3.1 3.2 3.3 the reason it starts with the three is because uh, it's chapter three in the specification so that's why it's three and then we've got units one to six the unit titles are listed there for you and uh, it's also important to be aware of the exams that you're going to be sitting so you are sitting two papers <clears throat> each one worth 90 marks in an hour and 45 minutes each so it translates into, into about a minute a mark is how you should uh, focus on answering those questions and underneath the what's assessed column in each paper paper one and paper two you can see that these uh, titles here are related to the units so excuse me so 3.1 and 3.2 business in the real world influences on business they are assessed in each paper so that th these are kind of the units that underpin the other units so units one and units two underpin the other units in the first exam paper one you're looking at business operations and human resources so that's 3.3 and 3.4 so it's these four units that are covered in the first exam and in the second exam it's 3.1 3.2 and then marketing and finance as well the exams are structured in the same way you've got multiple choice questions to start off with and then you've got um, one case study with data response uh, questions worth about 34 marks and then you've got another case study so you can have two case studies in your exams <clears throat> and the exams test your knowledge your ability to apply your knowledge to business concepts and analysis building a chain of argument effectively and evaluation coming to a judgment these are the three different assessment objectives that you need to be aware of and uh, I'll talk about them throughout these videos and I'm sure your teachers will be discussing them in class so these are some examples of <clears throat> what the uh, papers look like so you're going to start off the paper with some multiple choice questions so that's what a multiple choice question looks like and then you've got your case study data response this is an example of a case study data response it's basically a story about a business that you have to read and then answer questions on so how do you go about revising for business well first of all download the specification and ensure you know all of the subject content that's your responsibility to make sure you know all of that going into the exam Make sure you know all of the key terms and definitions that are listed in the specification. You can practice quizzing yourself on the basic knowledge. Quizzing is a really effective way to make sure that you learn. 
using key card key term flashcards mind maps etc whatever works for you here are some examples of some good business related uh, flashcards you can see it's got um, a nice colorful title some pictures and really neatly laid out bullet points about what need, you need to know on each subject distilling the important information about each subject onto an easily presented card you should download all of the past papers now as i say i'm recording this in 2018 the first exam is in 2019 so we don't have any past papers at the moment so use the past papers on the old specification so um, that would be uh, accessible here on the AQA website past papers and mark schemes and you can see you've got um, a few years worth of past papers there and maybe your teachers will have more I certainly do have uh, more past papers myself um, but you might be able to find them on other sites like um, uh, physics and maths tutor they, they have quite a lot of past papers so anyway download all of the past papers so that you can practice using those case studies to apply your business knowledge to you can practice answering um, questions and that's going to make you more effective in the exam answering the questions in the old case studies in the old uh, past papers will allow you to practice the skills of analysis and evaluation they're effectively writing skills writing is such an important skill in business as is reading and interpreting case studies. You should practice answering questions in time conditions. If you've got a good group of friends who are focused and will study and support you in that, it can be a good idea to study with friends. And of course, ask your teacher for help as well if you are struggling. So um, that video just is a brief introduction to the GCSE course. I'm intending to uh, get as many videos as up as I can before the 2019 exam. Um, that might mean I don't get to cover absolutely everything on the specification, but I will certainly get 